Well, welcome back, guys, to Dragon Quest VIII. Let's continue on. Alright, now, some things have definitely changed since last time. Now, what I've done is, I went back to pick them. I, I was a couple gold coins short of being able to buy that bow for Angelo, so I got about 300 more by going to the Swordsman's Labyrinth again, and waiting to fight some of those goodie bags there, because they drop 100 gold coins each. So with that money, I was able to buy it, go ahead and buy a Hunter's Bow for Angelo. I, I was looking on ahead, and it looks like I wouldn't be able to get another bow for quite some time, so this is probably my best chance to get one for him. Because I did eventually want to switch him over, it's just I was waiting for a good opportunity for it. Um, I did use some of my seed items. I did increase Jessica's HP more with a, a Seed of Life one. I think I used a Seed of Strength on Angelo and a Seed of Agility on my hero. Let's see, what else did I do? Oh yeah, let's go to the Alchemy Pot. I did do a little bit of Alchemy off-screen. But what I found out is that at this point, once you reach the hilltop save area and you're on your way to find the ship in the wasteland here, you now have the ability to make uh, to combine three items in the alchemy pod if you wanted to. But that's not the main reason I wanted to show you this. Hold on. Recipes. Alright, so I figured out how to make a feather cap. That's a leather hat and a chimera wing, which is pretty funny. I did make a pointy hat, which is a leather hat and an iron nail. I got an iron nail by fighting the Mecha Minas that was outside of Pick'em. Uh, the robot bird things. Because they have a small chance of dropping it. But I did eventually get it, and I made a pointy hat. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and try to make a stone hard hat. Because now I have the ingredients necessary to make it. So what we need to toss into the alchemy pot is a stone axe and the pointy hat. Yep. Let's get it started. All right, so that'll be cooking up cooking up in the alchemy pot. Right done, so we still need to find that ship so that we can cross over to the western continent. And supposedly there's one here in this wasteland. So let's get to looking. Have to go back down here first, I think. There we go, I got it. I thought the thin air attack might have been enough to kill them all. Right then, time to start exploring this wasteland. Or this canyon. It's not really a wasteland, it's just, that's the easiest way for me to describe it. Mud mannequins and money hands. Ooh, you're pretty fast, sir. Get him, Angus. Yeah, that showed him who's boss. Wait, 
Alright, so let's head west. Now, according to my item checklist, there is a treasure chest around here. Goodbye. Oh, I dropped a cypress stick. I thought I really needed one. Ah, there's the treasure chest. That got us a sledgehammer. Which we can probably sell for some money. Alright, so there's the ship we've been looking for. But now the question is, how do we get it out of this canyon and back to the back to the sea? How dare you dodge my attack? Got you that time. There we go. Good as new. Well, almost. Must be it! The ancient ship we heard about in Pickham! Now we can pick up Dool Magus's hateful trail again. But how? But. it's enormous! How on earth will we get it down to the sea? I must admit, I'm rather stumped. If only it wasn't quite so far inland. I know! Show me the map! Now, let's see. Here's my castle. Ah, so that's Tridane Castle there to the north. Which means now we must be... Hmm... Here! Unbelievable! We're directly south of the castle! I had no idea we were so close to home. Wow. Hmm. In that case, we should go back to the castle and see if we can find mention of this ship in the library. We might just find a clue. There's no time to lose. We must return to Trodane. To the castle! Hmm, so we're going back to where it all began then, eh, Trode? If we want to go there, we should probably start heading west. It's probably going to be a miserable sight to see because the place has been cursed. But, not like we have any other options right now. Ooh, now that thing there, that bomb rock, we need to take care of that thing ASAP. That thing can't be allowed to live long. Let's 
it's still kicking. Oh, not anymore. Now, most of the time, bomb rocks or rock bombs, they'll just waste their turn, like, grinning maliciously. But if they get the chance, they'll use an attack. They'll self-destruct using an attack called Kamikaze. And there's a good chance your party's gonna get... At least one party member is gonna get wiped out by it. So make them a priority when you see them. Take them out first. Turn west here. Level up for Angelo. Good for you, dude. Let me learn Swoosh, which is an upgrade to Whoosh. Alright, put those into Charisma, please. He becomes a Dream Boat. He's learned the Fuddle spell. And that's it. We got another Cypress stick. going to that cave to the north. However, before we do that, there is a treasure chest that we can get. Not that way. Heel slime, pink pongos, and a garuda. Pink gorillas. It's kind of funny. Get him, Angus. Thank you. So we'll ignore the cave for now. I believe if we follow this path, it should eventually lead to treasure. I'm pretty sure these guys are going to form together. And I want to be ready for that. Now they can't form together. Basically, if you let them, they turn into the mighty Mumbo Jumbo. They're actually kind of scary like that. 
because they can use an earthquake that hits all of your party members at once, and it's fairly damaging. Alright, let's see if we can find this treasure chest. Quite far away, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Oh, it's a Hawkman. Ow. That hurt a bit. Got a fairly large amount of HP. Treasure chest, where are you? for Joss. That is a notorious monster, but we're gonna leave it alone for the time being. Alright, now where's that chest? <laughs> Buffalo wings. That's funny. Attacked by a buffalo. There you are. Seed of magic. Nice. Just because we went so far out of the way, I'll go ahead and use Padfoot to reduce the amount of random encounters for a little bit. Now that is a monster that I definitely want to add to my team later on, because I think he's a pretty good one. But the monster arena isn't fully open yet, so I don't think we can get him yet. So we'll just wait for now. I'll come back here later, though. I'm pretty sure that's the one I want anyway. Could be a different one. Alright, we're about halfway to the cave.
dare you lower our defense. Psyching yourself up, are ya? Both of them are. Well, they'll be dead in just a moment. Goodbye. Hello, Cal. Diablos. <laughs> Alright, so we definitely want to use a Finner attack for these guys. Didn't end up needing it. Oh. So Patfoot's gone. Did I just hear the alchemy pot? Yes, I did. We made a stone hard hat. I don't know if it'll be better than the slime crown that he currently has equipped, because I think Yangus is the only one that can wear it. Yeah, it's actually weaker than the Slime Crown, which is unfortunate, but oh well. At least we have it. Right now, west of here is an inn slash church, if I remember correctly. Definitely go have a bit of a rest there. That's Trodain Castle over in the distance. I think my X button's not working as well as it used to. No, hey! Don't you run away from me? I need your milk. That's a lot of enemies. Alright, take him out, yeah, I guess.
Ah, yes, it's because Castle Trodane is cursed. I heard a rumor about a magic key at Castle Trodane, so I went looking for it. I couldn't believe my eyes. Oh, you're a merchant. Oh, we can buy a fur hood as well. It's not very good, though. I mean, with the iron helmet I bought not too long ago, it's only a slight improvement. Nah, I'm good for now. But thank you. start looking into getting a new PlayStation 2 controller. What with the left stick that sometimes jam uh, sticks in one direction, and now the X button may be going out. May have to get me a new one. At least it still works for now. Poison Moth Knife. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, there is another item around here. See if they'll form together this time. I know it's the one raising its arms that can call them to join together. Yep, here we go. I'll form the head, I'll form the legs, and we'll form the arms. The power of four becomes one. Mumbo Jumbo join forces become the massive Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> That's cool. It's ro it was rolling on the ball guy. That was funny.
There we go. Oh, no, it's still kicking. Wow. But now it's dead. And now a level up for me. I learned the sizzle spell. More swords, please. There's the treasure chest. Silly slimes. I do know that later on they can eventually form together to form a king slime, if I'm not mistaken. There you are. That got us 630 gold coins. There's also a treasure chest here, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a mimic. Yep. I remember this one. Just a single can of box isn't that dangerous, though. At least the low-level ones aren't, anyway. Definitely have to be careful as they get stronger, though. So this time, let's not give them the chance to form together. level up. He becomes an Axe Master. Attack power increases by 10 when he's equipped with an Axe. Good. So now he'll be even stronger when he's equipped with one. 